here I'm running the autoresponder application. So I'm going to type something to the text field. I'll type in test. And now I'm going to click save message. I'm going to go ahead and send myself a message from my Google Voice number. I'll say hi. The message should come in. So I received the message, and that second notification was my Google Voice. So there we go. I've sent hi, and test has been sent back. Here you're going to learn to build the autoresponder application. So, as always, let's have our three things. Let's have a browser for a components editor, our blocks editor, and an emulator up. Let's get started. New project, autoresponder. And there are three components in this project, in this application. It's pretty simple. Um, we will have a text box, a button, and texting. So we don't need to drag in any more components, but we do need to edit what we put in here. Let's name these things um, to be a bit more appropriate. Text box, let's name this message text box. MSG. And then our button, we'll name it um, save button. Now, here we can see in our um, emulator, which is just connected, that there's a hint in the text box, and its default is hint for text box one. And then the default text for text for button one is um, set already. Let's go ahead and modify that. Um, so we have our save button, and let's just make it say save. Let's just save. Save is good. And then message text box hint. Let's say type message here. Now, if the message is long. Um, let's see what happens if I start typing. So, hi, tonight, come to my house. See how it starts going over? We can fix that. So let's make the width, first of all, let's make the, the height to 50 pixels. And if I type in uh, multi-line, we'll see that once I start typing, hi, come to my house tonight, it starts going line by line. So that looks a bit nicer, and let's also make the um, this text box wider. So let's make the width the width of the screen. Just go ahead and click Fill Parent, and there you go. We can make it a little bit high, uh, higher too. Let's make it 80 pixels, just to give us a lot of room. Okay, we're done with the components editor. Now it's time to go and edit the code. So what we want this to do is let's think of a use case where, say, you're having a party and you want to leave your phone and anyone who texts you will send them back information about the party. So we have our texting component, so texting1, texting message, texting one message dot received. So when a text message comes in, it's going to store the number of the person sending the text message in a variable called number. It's also going to store the message content in something called message text. For this application, we're not concerned with the person, um, what the message is of the person texting, but we do need this person's number because we do need to send a message back to this person. So, let's say when it when a text when a text message is received, what do we want to do? Well, we want to send a message out to a person. So we want to say texting one dot phone number two. And the person who's sending the message, that person's phone number is stored in a variable called number. So we have it right here. Now we run into an issue. We want to send out the message that we've typed in here. So before we can, so the way we'll do that is we'll just say texting one dot message two. But we don't have any information to put in here yet. So let's go ahead and deal with that first. So let's say this save button right here, say we've typed something in, hi, party, party at seven. Say we've typed something in there. We will need to save this somewhere. So let's create a variable. We type in var variable and it will show up. And let's type it um, auto response. 
and we'll set its default to go ahead and type text and keep it blank. So auto response when the app starts up is set to blank. Now when we click the save button let's change auto response to whatever is in the message text box. So that would be message text box dot text. So now if I type in high party at seven and I click save, high party at seven is saved into this variable auto response. So now we can say texting one dot message to auto response. Of course if we haven't typed anything in there, auto response is just going to be blank. So now we've received a text message, we've said set the phone number to text out to the person who's just sent the message, set the message to whatever is in text box or whatever is saved in auto response, which is saved there when we click the save button. And now we need to send the message out. Texting one dot send message. Okay. That's our app um, for auto response. Now you might want to keep in mind if you're running this app, any person who texts you is going to be receiving your auto response. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to limit that. Because let's say you're throwing a party and you're in high school and the party's at your house and then your mom texts you and now she's going to get an auto response saying hi party at seven. It's probably not going to work out too well. So follow along in the next tutorial and you'll see how to control who's receiving the auto response and who isn't.